So in Breda Academy, we are offering, well, at the minute, two courses. There's personal success and well-being and an RE course. And we offer that to our year 11, year 12 pupils. It's a level two course. And what we have found over time is that the GCSE course, which we try to put our pupils through for RE, for example, we find that it is quite difficult for some of the, the pupils and it's also as a, as a curriculum it's quite restrictive um, but by doing the OCN um, RE course it provides us an opportunity to bring different teaching methodologies and actually tying in some of the curriculum that we're already doing in other courses in the school um, so we're bringing back in a wee bit of citizenship um, a wee bit of drug education and tying that in with the RE syllabus and it's worth uh, GCSE for us which is what all high schools are looking for. So for any other school that is thinking of OCN, I would say to you, you need to look into this. Um, it is a golden ticket for the school. Um, it provides an opportunity to give a curriculum that uh, meets the needs of every child in your school, is equivalent to GCSE and brings a great deal of flexibility and this is what teachers are asking for. So pick up the phone and contact OCN, ask for the brochures, ask for the information and get yourself an approved centre and take these, these subjects up because it is well worth it. We have really benefited from OCN over the last couple of years. Uh, we feel that it really fits the needs of our learners. It is very flexible uh, as a process uh, rather than waiting for a terminal examination. Uh, the portfolio idea and the different ways to assess. It's not always a worksheet that can be photographs or, or PowerPoints or whatever. The way of assessment is very flexible and that suits the needs of our learners. So that is why our OCN portfolio is increasing year on year. We're looking at different subjects to come on board. At the moment, as I said, we have three. Uh, our pupils think it's fantastic. Um, they like the flexible nature of it. They like the idea that when it's IV in school, we can give them immediate feedback and then they can go back and look at it and change it again. It gives them motivation that they are actually going to succeed in something and they're keen to get going at it. Um, I would advise other schools to definitely look into OCN, uh, look at the qualifications they offer. Um, many of them are on the entitlement framework, so you can look up there to see that they are accredited. And uh, it's flexible in the nature whether it's level two or level one, and you decide what's best for your learners. Um, what I would advise you to do is to get in touch with OCN straight away, get in touch with a business development uh, officer who will come out, work through your school needs, what are you looking for, and they will guide you through the process. Um, as a school, it's been very beneficial for us in raising our, our GCSE results um, in the entitlement framework subjects that we offer. Um, I think it's beneficial for our school because we have different pupils with different needs, so you have different pathways you're going to offer. So the OCN subjects are not going to be suitable for every pupil you have in the school, but they definitely cater for a niche of pupils that maybe a pathway wasn't existing for them beforehand. Um, and some of our pupils would mix between pathways as well. So they're maybe doing uh, the more academic GCSEs alongside some OCM uh, subjects as well. So it benefits all learners in the school.